Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, today I'm going to show you what's the latest with my Iron Man suit. I've done a few things, but uh, see the thing about uh, this project is that I don't focus on um, one part. And just say, for example, I don't focus on the helmet and get that completely done and, fo and then move on to the next piece. I'll kind of focus on all of it at once um, because say something takes time to dry or I have to paint something, I won't have to wait. Um, for that thing to dry before I can do anything else. I can just go on and work on something else at the same time. So uh, that's kind of been my approach. Yeah, this is kind of just going to be a progress video. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the lights that I've put on this uh, and just kind of everything else I've done. So yeah. Now, first things first, uh, the 3D printer came. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that post, but um, yeah, I actually the first one I got turned out to be a total just failure. Um, the software did not work. The whole thing was just so bad, so confusing. But um, this new one called the M3D printer, uh, it's a very small printer, just your um, basic beginner 3D printer. Um, it's been working great actually, uh, so I can go show you guys that. So as you can see right here, I've got something printing. This is actually my wrist piece. Uh, so this is one of the clips that is gonna snap around on my wrist. So it's kind of like that around my wrist. So um, hopefully that works. So I've got it hooked up to my computer right here. Um, this is what it looks like. Let me scale that down. This is what it looks like. Actually, go ahead and show you over here. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna have a buckle attached here. And this is the piece that uh, is going to fit in my other wrist piece. So that's what this looks like. So it's going to um, slide right in between here. So uh, here's one of the things I printed. Um, I've got it attached onto the suit. Or to the, this is my main chest piece. I'm going to paint it a little bit. Um, maybe give it like some silver accents. But yeah, I've got a light in here and it's attached to the chest piece. So. Um, let me guys show you how that works. So check that out. You can see. It looks pretty cool. I'm going with this diamond uh, pattern for both this and the helmet and like everything else. So that's kind of the theme of this. All right, so if we move on over here, you can see I've done a little bit more with the helmet. Uh, I've gotten this front light piece in uh, this is not finished. I'm going to have like a grill over this that'll cover up some of the light bulbs so you won't be able to see them. And uh, I've also got these side diamond pieces attached. Uh, it's still, still a little rough at the moment, but um, yeah, it's still pretty cool actually, if I do say so myself. Um, lights in here, lights in here, lights in here, and lights in the eyes. So let's go turn this on. Go ahead and attach this clip that's why right here. Let's see. Uh, all lights up. Looks pretty cool. So yeah, this is gonna be a, not just an open light, but I'm actually gonna have a grill right there, so give you a sense of what it's gonna look like. So this is the drawing that I'm going off of. I showed this to you guys in the first one. So um, as you can see, if I turn on the lights, so far, it looks pretty similar. You got the side diamonds there. Um, I should drew up a side drawing. Looks pretty similar. So yeah, I still need to make something to go over the top. Finish the grill, and um, yeah, then the helmet should be good. All right, so one other thing I did was to make, or was to extend this uh, small butane torch. Uh, this is going to be the pilot light for my main flamethrower. So um, what I've done is attached a, I got rid of the piezo electric igniter on there and added this grill sparker, this electric grill sparker. Um, and I also extended the wire out, or the hose, sorry, out from um, the fuel tank and attached it to a servo. Uh, so that I'm going to power with the Arduino. And I'm also going to repurpose this button to be powered by the Arduino too. So if I go ahead and just, I'll just do it manual right now. I uh, pull down on this lever and push this button. Good, yeah, light. 
yeah, I just take off the nozzle and the little die down. Apparently, want me to relight. Get another push. There we go. Yeah, it works pretty well. So yeah, that's what I've done so far. Uh, it's starting to take shape. I'm actually really excited to see uh, how it ends up turning out. Oh yeah, and um, it's actually been going on for a while now, but every time in one of my videos, uh, I'll see at least a few comments about who I actually am. Uh, it's actually really funny. And uh, a lot of you guys ask me why I never show my face. And honestly, I really don't know, but just more of my style. Um, so yeah, but uh, I'm gonna make you guys a deal. Uh, if I hit 50,000 subscribers um, by this time next month, uh, I'll do a face reveal. Yeah, so if that would interest you guys at all, I'll do a uh, Q&A video where I talk about who I am a little bit more about myself. So if that interests you at all, um, be sure to share this these videos around with your friends, get them to subscribe, that would really help me out, and uh, yeah, let's make this happen. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, Instagram, share this video. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.